Nine minutes past seven. Thank you, Dashini. Covid restrictions on adult social care are being eased in England from today, as we were hearing in the news at the top of the hour. So um, there's no limit on visitors. The huge suffering imposed on people in homes has been reduced, but not entirely done away with. And this is particularly the case when it comes to the rules surrounding an outbreak of Covid. There's been a reduction in the length of time that homes have to stay entirely closed after two or more cases, but it's still going to be 14 days. Nadra Ahmed is Chief Executive of the National Care Association. From what we understand, there are probably around the 50% mark of services who are in outbreak, which means that there are two or more people in their service who have COVID. Then the service has to shut down to outside visiting, which means that they cannot enable what this guidance is indicating, which is that anybody can come in. They will be restricted to essential caregivers only. Well, let us talk to uh, Tracy Blasey, whose mother lives in a care home that is currently in lockdown. Ms Blasey, good morning. Good morning. Tell us about your and her situation. Um, Yeah, my mum is 93. Um, She lives in a 80-bedded care home and um, she is currently in lockdown, as they have been for the last month. Um, And... At the moment, the person testing positive is not even on her floor. You can imagine in an 80 bedded unit, that's quite large. So there's two floors. So someone like my mum is not even anywhere near the person um, who has COVID. And often during the lockdowns, because this is not the first one, this mm. has happened you know, several times, um, Often, in fact, more often than not, it's not been the residents at all. It's been staff, which is expected, um, but they're not even there. Obviously, they're at home isolating. Yeah. So, so you have so, the scenario where actually nobody in the building has it. Uh, yeah, an enormous suffering, obviously. Does the change Absolutely. from 28 days to, to 14 days in that case actually make a, a very significant difference? Um, It doesn't because it's actually been 14 days since um, mid-January anyway. um, I think this is all a bit... Oh, have we lost um, the line? Because subject to testing... Sorry, we lost the line there. We did just just, just start again. So you were saying it's all all been a bit difficult anyway. Well, it's been 14 days since mid-January. Um, subject to testing so that's not an actual change um so so the headlines on on that are actually quite misleading that's interesting Um, and and also of course misleading in as much as you can have rolling lockdowns because then someone else can go that's exactly that's exactly what we do have so my in in my own mother's case we should hear maybe today maybe tomorrow, whether they come out of lockdown, which they might or might not. Um, But even if they do, we could have three days clear and off we go again. What should the rule Um, be? Well, I certainly think I, I see absolutely no reason why if we want, if I wanted to take my mother out, for instance, which I do, and I certainly wanted to do last weekend um i think i should be able to do that because she hasn't got the virus she's not anywhere near anybody who has the virus and she craves to be outside she wants to go out yeah hello okay yeah Yeah, no we we got that we got that loud and clear (laughs) absolutely yes exactly we can go out and and they and your mother can't and other people can't as well and in care homes and it um well it does feel like something that people might want to address um thank you so much for uh, talking to us tracy blazy 22 minutes past